guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup look is going to be this one right here. I don't know what to call it. Um, maybe when I pull up the the thumbnail, we'll probably know what it is. It's a very dewy, very shiny, very highlight, um, double line look with a pop of color. More like, yes, I'm ready for summer. I want highlight and I want dewy skin and I want pop of color type of thing. <laughs> so I did have a little trouble it's my first time trying to double wing, so I did have a little trouble um, trying to do the double wing um, liner on camera, so I might skip some areas of it, but I, once I get the technique of it more in hand, I will probably do a more in-depth in, um, video of how to get that double wing liner. It's not easy, that I tell you. <laughs> so I just wanted to do a pop of color. I mean, I wanted to be, I wanted to do something different. I haven't done a makeup look like this in my channel in a while, I think. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and see how I achieve this look. So for I'm going to start with my eyes, I'm going to be applying concealer to my eyelids just to even all the tone out and make it sort of like a primer for my eyes. And I'm going in with the Morphe bra uh, palette and I'm just grabbing a color that is close to my skin, a little bit darker I would say. And I'm just applying that on the crease of my eyes as a transition color. Then I'm going in with that lighter color right there and I'm going to apply that as a brow bone highlight. Then I'm going with a darker brown just to give it a little more um, definition onto the eyes. You can do this with any palette that you have warm colors. Just a transition color, a dark brown just to give it a little more definition. And I'm blending all the harsh lines. I'm going with a white shadow and I'm applying that on my lid. Then I'm using a very precise liner liquid liner and this is the girl lactic liner and ladies like i said in the beginning of this video it's quite hard so all i recommend is just drawing out your wing line how you would normally do it and then you're going to grab another precise liner and i'm using the nyx liquid liner in white and then i'm just drawing it on top of the black liner now a Something that I did came across, I think that next time when I do this look, I think first I'm going to do the white liner uh, uh, pretty much up higher than I would normally do. And then I think I would go in with a black liner. And then after that, I just apply a little bit of mascara onto my, eye, onto my lashes. And then I'm going with falsies. These are um, Salon Perfect, the, the Wispies as well as the Ardell ones I use. And I'm applying mascara. And then I'm moving in with foundation and I'm using the new L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation. I did a review on this foundation and I have to say I've been loving this foundation. I'm going to leave the link down below. So I'm just applying it with a beauty blender. I'm blending it all over and then I'm going in with the Maybelline Dark Eraser Concealer. And I'm concealing away while I give you a little concert. And of course with a dip beauty blender I'm blending everything away. It's not... A hard look to be honest I just pretty much did a little bit of color on my eyes and then I just tried doing that double wing and then here I'm just not baking I'm just setting my under eyes with loose powder and this is the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder this is where I apply the concealer is mostly where I'm setting it and then to bring a little more brightness under my eyes I am using NYX HD concealer I'm sorry HD powder in banana and then I'm moving on to my eyebrows. I don't know why my eyebrows, I did them at this point in the video, but let's move on. <laughs> I highly recommend using lashes that are not too dramatic so that the wing line can actually, you can actually see it. Because if you use dramatic lashes, you're going to hide that wings. And with the Benefit Hula Bronzer, I'm just warming up my face. And then I'm going in with the uh, e.l.f. Bronzing Palette. And I'm grabbing a shimmery, high, a shimmery bronzer. I'm applying that all over the temples on my face and, of course, on my forehead. Going for a bronzy look, not so much of a contour look. Just bronze that face out. Then with this Wet n Wild Stick Highlight, I'm going to apply it on the cheekbones. And then I'm also going to apply it on the tip of my nose. And then with this ColourPop uh, Highlight, I'm going to leave the, the name down below of all the products that I use. And look at that highlight though. 
is very 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 intense and I'm just pretty much blending everything and I'm bringing a little bit of highlight to my brow bone I'm using that same highlight and then I'm using a actually I went in with the same highlight that I used a uh, color pop and I applied that on my lids just to give it a little more of pop of color and then I'm going in with this NYX matte fuchsia I'm not maybe not hot pink let's say hot pink lipstick it's like I said it's not an easy it's not a complicated look it's just pretty much have fun with it and this is the completed look I hope you guys enjoy it and again I will do a more in-depth of this look later on thank you so much for watching be blessed precious pearls I will see you ladies on my next video bye